Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of the Awesome Blossom Knits podcast. My name is Lauren and I'm coming to you from Iwakuni, Japan today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time to virtually hang out with me and listen to me talk about knitting for a few minutes. Um, so I have a couple of finished projects and a couple of works in progress to talk about today. So we'll start with possibly the obvious one, which is my Peridot cardigan. I just finished the cardigan a couple days ago and I really, really like it. I'll stand up and show it to you on first and then I'll take it off and show you up close and talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so the pattern is the Peridot cardigan by Marie-Christine Levesque, as you can see there, Marie-Christine Levesque, or Trico Design MCO on Ravelry. And here it is. I knit it out of Knit Picks Hawthorne, the tonal hand paint color, colorway Astoria. It's this tonal gray blue. It's a V neck cardigan. Uh, the button band was knit on as you go. You didn't have to pick up stitches at the end and knit the button band. It was just knit along with the body. And I used 13 millimeter buttons. They're just some plastic buttons, but they match this blue-gray color really well, I think. Uh, the body of the cardigan has a, a knit pearl texture that you can see there. And the sleeves are just in stockinette. I'm really happy with how the sweater turned out. Um, while I was knitting it, I was a little concerned that I wasn't going to like it for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I thought it was coming out too big and that it was gonna look like a giant frumpy potato sack, but it's fine. I like the size, it's comfortable. I think it looks good. It doesn't look like a potato sack. I think blocking really helped. Um, Cause I mean, I tried it on while knitting it, like after I had, um, finished the body and was working on the sleeves and I thought, mm, I don't know, but blocking it really helps it hang nicely. So it also, blocking also fixed the problem that I was worried about with the neck band or the button band. Uh, as I was saying earlier, the button band was knit on as you go and this was rolling in really badly before I blocked it. Like this whole, the whole, both front panels were just rolling in on themselves. And I was really worried that blocking was not gonna sort it out, but it seems to have sorted it out just fine. It's, it lays pretty flat now. I don't have any problem with the front rolling. So, yes. Blocking works wonders for this sweater. Um, I knit the medium size and let's see, I used about four skeins of yarn, I think. I bought six and I wound up five of them into balls, but I have this much left, which I weighed and it's right about a hundred grams. So I have almost a whole skein left here pretty much a whole skein left. So I only actually used four skeins, which is good to know. Um, I don't need as much yarn to knit a sweater for myself as I thought I did. I didn't make any major changes to the pattern. Um, I pretty much knit it as written. In the pattern, there are some increases in the body though. After you split for the sleeves, you do some increases. Uh, I didn't do any increases because I thought it was roomy enough. I didn't want to make it any bigger, so I just didn't do that. 
Um, and I did knit the sleeves and the body both just a little bit longer than what the pattern says because I am tall. So yeah, the pattern was, I would say, well written, easy to follow. I would recommend it. I mean, if you're looking for a good beginner cardigan pattern, I think this one's beginner friendly. And yes, that's it for my Perino cardigan. So my next finished project, these ones, the Razzle Dazzle socks. So these are just vanilla socks. Um, the yarn is Red Heart, Heart and Soul with Aloe in the Razzle Dazzle colorway. And I knit them with Fish Lips Kiss Heel in a contrast color. And the contrasting yarn was Patton's Croy in Gentry Gray. I knit them quite long, as you can see here. Um, did a German twisted cast on and knit them cuffed down, starting with 64 stitches, and then somewhere around here, I decreased down to 60 and knit the rest of the socks on 60 stitches on a 2.25 millimeter needle. Um, I did not bother trying to make this match because it's quite a long repeat and it's really busy. So I didn't think it really mattered if they match or not. I did notice after I started knitting the second one that the striping sequence is actually going the opposite way on the sock. So on one of them goes this way, another one, like the striping sequence goes in the opposite direction. That was kind of interesting. They were pre-wound center pull balls and I pulled from the center on both of them so they must have been wound in opposite directions. Um, so yeah, and this is the leftovers. I still had a fair amount left even though I knit really nice long socks. I forgot to weigh that, I think, so I can't tell you how many grams that is, but yeah. This yarn is 70% uh, wool and 30% nylon also. So I have two works in progress today, the first of which is my Christmas party socks. I don't know if it's too early to start knitting Christmas socks, but I was really excited about this yarn and wanted to cast it on. So the yarn is my own hand-dyed yarn, so Awesome Blossom Knits yarn, in the BFL sock base, which is 75% superwash BFL, 25% nylon. And this is my Christmas party color. And I cast on some Driftwood socks by Mina Phillip, who is knitting expat designs on Ravelry, I believe. There's the texture. Um, it's got a really cool yarn over pattern. So I did cast on 64 stitches, but these are coming out quite wide, uh, which happened on my last socks too, on the Razzle Dazzle socks, which was why I dropped down to 60 stitches on those. And I thought in that case that it was just because this yarn was heavier and that was what messed up my gauge. I'm not sure now because this yarn is not like a heavy sock yarn. This is the normal kind of sock yarn weight that I am used to. And I always, at least for the last year or so, have been knitting my socks on 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches. And they're always a lot more snug. So I'm not sure if my gauge has just loosened up again and I need to go down a needle size or down in stitch count or if it's this pattern that has, is making my gauge looser. I'm not sure. But I am going to go down to 60 stitches uh, now that I've turned the heel. So yes, I did a fish lips kiss heel. 
and I've just finished that and I'm ready to start knitting the foot. So I'm gonna do some decreases and then knit the foot. So that's my Christmas party socks. And I only did the texture on the front. The back is plain vanilla. So my second work in progress is a hat that I have cast on for my son. So if you watched, I want to say the episode before last, I showed a scarf that I had knit for him. And this is going to be the matching hat. So uh, <laughs> I'm doing a double brim, so where the ribbing is uh, double thick. And I'm actually halfway through the round where I'm connecting the cast on edge to the top of the ribbing. If that makes sense. So this is kind of an awkward place to show it, but yeah. I'm working on knitting, knitting this together with the cast on edge now, and I'm about halfway around, so it's still open over here. But it will look like this. Um, I'm also in the process of changing needle sizes. So I cast on on size eight needles for the ribbing. Now that the ribbing's done, I'm knitting onto my size 10 needles and I'm gonna finish the hat on size 10. Um, I'm not using a pattern. I just used, I measured the gauge from the scarf that I made and measured my son's head and used those numbers to figure out how many stitches I should cast on. And I cast on 80 stitches. And this is an Aran weight yarn, or a heavy worsted slash Aran weight. This color is Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand in the Silver Heather. Joyce. Got a picture of Anna White on it. Um, I'm going to knit the brim in this, or I have knit the brim in this. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this connecting row here, I'm going to start striping and I'm going to do a matching, matching stripes to what the, the scarf I made was. So the other colors I'm going to use are also Vanna's Choice in Kelly Green. And then Loops and Threads Impeccable in True Gray and Royal. So, and I'm just going to do the same striping pattern that was on the scarf. Um, these are all 100% acrylic yarns. I have a big box of acrylic yarns in my closet, so it's good to be knitting through that. I don't like things to just sit and not be used. And I really like it for kids' projects, not only because it's durable and um, machine washable, but my son is seven, like I said, and in the last couple of years since he started school, he has lost more hoodies and hats and mittens that I want to think about and so I don't really feel like precious about this yarn if he loses this hat it's not a big deal I mean it's kind of annoying because I spent time on it but I don't feel as precious about it as if I had used a nicer more expensive yarn so if he leaves it at school or something it's not the end of the world you know he has also requested some mittens so that's next on the list is some matching mittens and that's all the knitting I have this week. I don't have any shop news either, so I think I'll go ahead and end the podcast here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!